Hi, my name's Amanda and I'm a pharmacist. Today I'm continuing with my top 200 drug series with part six, allergy and asthma medications. We'll be looking at what the drugs are for and how they work and their generic and brand names. And if you find this video useful, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Thanks, I really appreciate it. So first we'll begin with the antihistamines. These are the H1 receptor blockers. They work by blocking the effect of histamine 1, which is made by the body during an allergic reaction. The antihistamines they're used to reduce allergy or allergic reaction symptoms, including itching, runny nose, and watery eyes. Um, there's hydroxazine, the brand name is Atarax or Vistaril. There's cetirazine, which is Zyrtec, and loratadine, which is Claritin. And I have noted here that the hydroxazine also has anti-anxiety properties. Next are the corticosteroids, or sometimes they're just referred to as steroids. These are used to treat a wide range of inflammatory, allergic, and autoimmune conditions. And their use is not limited to asthma and allergies. They have many uses. The steroids work by decreasing inflammation and reducing the activity of the immune system. Uh, they resemble cortisol, which is a hormone made by the adrenal glands. There are many different dosage forms. There's intranasal, oral, topical, inhaled, and injectable formulations. And many of the steroids end with the suffix own, but not all. So first we'll look at intranasal steroids. These are in the form of a nasal spray. And therefore, the symptoms of non-allergic and allergic rhinitis, or commonly called hay fever, which includes sneezing, runny nose, and itchy and watery eyes. And in the top 200, there's fluticasone, which is Flonase. Then there are topical steroids. This includes things like creams, ointments, lotions that, that are applied to the skin. These are for a wide variety of allergic reactions and inflammation of the skin, such as hives and rashes. Um, some examples include insect bites and stings, poison ivy, or a rash from an allergic reaction. And in the top 200, we have hydrocortisone, cream, which is cortisone, and triamcinolone cream, which is Aristocort or Kenalog. Then there are the oral steroids. These are tablets or liquid that's taken by mouth. They're for a wide variety of allergic reactions or inflammation of the body to decrease the immune response. And some examples include lung disease flare-ups, acute bronchitis, widespread rashes, or prevention of organ transplant rejection. So there are many, many uses for the oral steroids. Um, in the top 200, there's prednisone, brand name is Deltazone, methylprednisolone, which is Medrol, and prednisolone, which is Prelone or Oropred. And then there are the inhaled steroids. This includes an inhaler or nebulizer, nebulizer versions. And these are for maintenance therapy for asthma and COPD and other chronic lung disease. Um, in the top 200 is budesonide, which is palmacort. Then there are the leukotriene receptor antagonists. Um, these work by blocking leukotrienes, which are released by the body when an, aller an allergen enters the airway, which causes swelling in the lungs and tightening of the muscles around the airway. The leukotriene receptor antagonists, they're used in the treatment of both allergies and asthma. And in the top 200, there's Montelukast, which is singular. Okay, next are the beta-2 agonist bronchodilators. These work by binding beta-2 receptors in the lungs, which promotes bronchial smooth muscle relaxation. They're used in the treatment of asthma and other lung disease to increase airflow to the lungs. And these come in inhaler and nebulizer formulations. And these generally end with the suffix terol. So in the top 200, there's albuterol, which is provental or ventolin. Then there are the anticholinergic or antimuscarinic bronchodilators. These work by inhibiting muscarinic receptors, the M3 ones, in smooth muscle of the airway, which leads to bronchodilation. 
These are used to prevent bronchospasm in people with chronic bronchitis, emphysema, or COPD. Um, there's a long-acting inhaler formulation in the top 200 drugs, which is um, Tiotropium. The brand name is Spireva. And you'll see other of these bronchodilators, and they end, generally end with the suffix PIUM, P-I-U-M. And next, there are the steroid and beta-2 bronchodilator combinations. These are for maintenance therapy used to control and prevent symptoms caused by asthma and COPD. They include a steroid plus a long-acting beta-2 agonist. So there is budesonide with formoterol, which is Simbacort, and fluticasone with salmeterol, which is Advair. Then another combination product, we have the anti-muscarinic and beta-2 bronchodilator. Um, this is used to treat and prevent wheezing and shortness of breath from chronic lung disease, including COPD, emphysema, and chronic bronchitis. And this combination product includes both types of bronchodilators, the anti-muscarinic M3 one and the beta-2 bronchodilator. And then the top 200, the combination product we have is Iprotropium and Albuterol, and the brand names are Combivent and Duoneb. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video with others who may find it helpful, and please subscribe to see more of my drug information videos. And up next, we'll be look, continuing with our Top 200 Drugs series with Part 7, Antibiotics, Antifungals, and Antivirals. Thanks for watching.